how many k's we got to do today? 300. 300, we're going to us. To us. Yesterday we saw quite a lot of springbok, we saw some zebra and this morning we've just seen, I think it is four young kudu girls, so there's a bit of game in the area and when we came into Ai Ai we saw those Femsbok, there was quite a lot of them. Uh, Cannon Roadhouse is where you can get fuel along this road and they it's from Hobus it's about uh, 12 kilometers so you can also camp at Cannon Roadhouse or stay in the chalets or stay in the chalets there and then travel in and only maybe pay park fees for the one day which might be an option Sure, this is where everybody stays. Probably. Turn left onto Twasbore, gravel, then take the first right. There's their fuel there. Cannon Roadhouse. We stopped here, then Groves wants to have breakfast here. And we're going to check the price of the fuel. Grape vineyards here as well. Look at the, the skins they're lying there. 
wonder if it's all because of the dam that they had Where they water. get the water from. Yeah. They obviously get a little bit of water from the dam. What's the dam called? Um, no idea. This is the Nortia Dam on our right. Apparently this is the dam that has been causing all the problem with the well, water. Well it was, it was it, overflowing over, so much. Eh? Yeah, so the whole southwest of Namibia got flooded. And this lady in front of us on her bicycle, we actually saw her at I. So she's making her way up north. Don't know where to. Yeah, I said you wouldn't like to be pushing my butt. Comparing this with the last time we came along here, uh, this time you've got all this grass growing here now after the rains. The last time we didn't have this, it was just very sandy and patchy. And I think the rains have done a huge uh, amount of good. Amount of good here in the moon, eh? I think they did a lot of damage in places, but. In general, I think it's done good, eh? Desert Horse is the name of it. The campsites are nicely spaced. Location is nice.
of sand away from the side of the road. Coming up to Coleman's Cop. Now a ghost town. Once a thriving little diamond mining village. Oh, the wind is blowing like the clappers today. So I don't know what the sound is actually going to be like. We'll just have to wait and see. This is the freezer room. You can see where they used to hang all the meat. I would think these are like a big pots where they used to cook in. You make a huge meal in there if that's what it was. I think this was something to do with the making of the ice and that's the old bully in the in the cupboard there. kitchen and another bedroom
salt spray. Luderitz is always windy, I think. Turbines. Turbines, yeah. I think they turn 365 Stop. days a year. Taking the turn off here to go and see if the wild horses are around. There's a lookout point here. 